Welcome to So Long Video 1722 Statement Sweatshirt. Now I developed this pattern because I don't normally like stretch lace but I came across this most amazing piece of stretch lace that looks just like Guy Peur lace which I love working with and I wanted to make a feature out of it. So if you have a special piece of stretch fabric, it doesn't have to be lace, it could be an amazing print knit. This is a really great pattern to be able to make the most of that fabric piece, especially if you don't have a lot of that fabric and you want it to be something really special. So to get started on this pattern, let's do some basics. We're only going to sew with an overlocker. So you're going to need to thread your overlocker with four threads of colour matching to your garment. We're going to sew this with the overlocker set to 6mm width, which is quarter of an inch. And when we overlock, we're not going to cut any of the fabric off. This pattern is designed that we sew on the edge of the fabric and the overlocker blade is only to cut off stray threads. So when you're ready, let's get started. You're going to need your front and your back pattern pieces. So place your front with the right side up, then take the back pattern piece and place it right side down. We're going to start off by matching and sewing the shoulders. So what we have is right sides together. So come to your overlocker and we're going to start by sewing that shoulder seam. And when you've sewn that shoulder seam, just come across and sew the other shoulder seam. Now go ahead and find your sleeves. Place the piece you've just sewn right sides up with the back here and the front away from you. Then take your sleeve and find the back notch here and the crown notch here. We're going to place this right sides together. The crown notch here, which I've marked with pins to make it easier to see, will match to that shoulder seam and the notch at the back of the sleeve See, sleeve will match to this notch position here. What we need to do is sew this sleeve in nice and easily and ease out any fullness between those marks, making sure that those marks match when we sew them. Now you generally don't use pins, I've only put them together to help you and to help me sew them. And remember we don't overlock over our pins because what happens if we overlock over our pins is we will break our needles. So when you're ready match those positions and we'll go to the overlocker and start sewing the sleeve in. So when you're ready making sure it's right sides together place the underarm seam to the overlocker and start to overlock. If you just anchor that there, that will give you a little bit of extra help. It works like another set of hands and you can then use that to just grab the fabric and adjust the raw edges to make sure they're sitting on top of each other. Now when we overlock, we don't want to stretch this out or push it in. We just want to let the machine do the work. So go ahead and overlock as far as you can in one motion until we get to just before the notch. And remember we don't want to cut off any of the fabric, we just want that blade to cut off any stray threads or any overlocking threads from a previous seam. So the next notch we need to think about is the crown notch and the shoulder seam. Match that position and when you're ready match those raw edges 
and overlock up to it. Depending on your fabric, you might need to stretch or contract that in to suit the seam. Now come in and match the other underarm point and the raw edges. And then we want to overlock all the way to the other side. Remembering we want the ease or the stretch spread out evenly. Check to make sure that you've caught the seam in there and then repeat that for the other side. Now we have that in the correct position, we're going to sew the underarm seam. So take your sleeve and place it right sides together. And we're going to sew from the sleeve hem all the way through the underarm seam to the body hem. So making sure that matches, place that to your presser foot. Secure that in place and then find that underarm seam and match that and overlock the underarm. Let the machine cut off the threads from the, sh from the sleeve seam as you progress through and then overlock through the body hem. And now repeat that on the other side. Now we're going to work on the cuffs, so go and find your cuff pieces. So the hardest thing I find about working with cuffs, especially with the ribbing, is working out which is the right side and the wrong side. Um, I'm sure you'll work out a system. What I do is I put a pin on the right side, but you could put a chalk mark or something. And we have to sew the cuff seam together. So the cuff is a rectangle and we want the shorter ends together. And we're going to sew a seam on both pieces, right sides together. Now because this is a stripe, I'm just going to make extra specially care that I match up my stripes. Make sure if you have put a pin in them, that you're not going to sew through it. So now we need to turn this back on itself and making sure that the wrong sides are together 
we fold it back on itself like this. And you'll notice when you do that directly opposite this seam here are some notches. So this is the seam that will attach to the underarm of the sleeve and that notch will attach directly to the opposite. So take that wrong side and just fold it over on itself. Now we're going to sew the cuffs into the sleeves. So take a sleeve, it doesn't matter which one, and making sure that the wrong side is outside, take one of your cuffs and put it inside. I can take out that pin now because I don't need it. So pop that inside and that seam of the sleeve needs to match up with the seam we made in the cuff. So if you need to, pin that into place. Then turn it around till you find the direct opposite and there will be a notch there. There it is, even though it's very small, and match that to the notch you have on your cuff. And if you need to, hold that in place as well. Now we're going to get ready to overlock it. I'll go ahead and pin the other cuff into position. One feature I really like about this overlocker is the ability to take the side off so it makes sewing cuffs somewhat easier. So take your cuff and slide it up to your overlocker. Remember to remove all pins and overlock that cuff seam into place. And repeat that for the other cuff. Take your neck band and right sides together sew the short seam. Now turn that and fold it in half. Now there's notches along here. The notch directly opposite the seam here, so this seam is the centre back, and the notch directly opposite it is the centre front. And I'm just going to put pins in those to make it easier to see. The other two notches you will see as you go along are to match the shoulder seams too. Now you don't need to pin this, I just find it easier. Now at this stage as well, if you're unsure about sewing this in, you can go to your plain sewer and just sew a line of basting stitches or tacking stitches just to make sure that that raw edge is held together before you go to sew it into the garment. So take your garment, find the neck, 
and I've marked it with pins to help me and to help you see what we're going doing. to take my neck band and the seam part goes directly into the double notch at the center back that position there now the notch directly opposite it is the center front and I'll just go ahead and match in the shoulder seam on one side and then the shoulder seam on the other side so these are the points that that neck band needs to match into when we're sewing if you've got to the stage now's the time to run a tacking stitch around the top try it on and check that it fits now neck bands are only ever a guide depending on your fabric choice and the fabric drape sometimes you might need to make them longer or smaller to suit so run a line of tacking stitches around there with your flat machine try it on and when you're happy come back and we'll overlock this into position so let's sew in the neck band it's always easier to sew it with the neck band on top but it is entirely up to you it also enables you to check that you're not losing width when you do sew this so making sure all those edges are together we're going to gently ease and stretch out anything we need to and sew all those three raw edges together remember not to run over any pins because they will break your needles So you can see here we're coming up to the shoulder notch we're just going to make sure that that sits directly on top of the shoulder seam and now I'm easing my way through to the center front I'm just going to gently make sure the stretch is evenly distributed the whole way towards the center front So there's our neck band done, now we're going to work on the waistband. So the waistband is generally cut in one long piece but what happened is I didn't have enough fabric so I improvised and I cut two halves. So we'll just pretend that this is one long piece and what you do is place this right sides together and overlock through and you'll notice there's a notch here that notch is to show us where the halfway point is so when we fold it over to attach the waistband so when you're ready I'm going to make sure I match my pattern properly so my stripes all line up and I'm going to overlock Now you'll actually have a notch at this position which will show you the other side but for me it's nice and easy. I have one side seam and the other side seam. So the big question is where do you put the seam when there is just one long continuous piece? Some people like to put it in the centre back, some people like to put it on the side seam 
I like to put it on the left hand side seam as you're wearing the garment. So fold this so wrong sides are together. And place the seam where you want to on the garment. I'm going to place this on the left side seam and the other seam on the right side seam. So what this means is with your garment inside out, so right sides inside, take this side and match that, which will be a notch for you, to the seam there. And I find it easier to secure it in place. Oh, that pin's a bit blunt. Let's try a different one. And then I'm going to match Put this inside the garment so remembering we're putting this right sides together I'm going to match that through to the other side seam now the body of the garment has more fabric than the band, so you have to distribute the stretch from one side to the other. So in addition to the seam on one side, you'll also have a notch that's in the center. So go ahead and find that center notch, and that notch matches to the center of your garment. So there'll be one for the center front, and there'll be one for the center back as well. So it's really important to find those notches because what that will do is make sure that the stretch is balanced evenly through your garment so that the garment doesn't look lopsided at all. So now we have basically quartered the garment. We have an attachment point at each of the side seams and the centre front and the centre back. So now we're ready to sew on that waistband. So come to one of the side seams and overlock that together. Now make sure all of those raw edges are caught. And same again, make sure you take out the pins because we do not want to run over any of those pins. And when we sew, we want to make sure all the seams are directly on top of each other. I'm just going to anchor that there, just do a nice gentle stretch and match my raw edges. Now I'm at the midway point, I'll find the other side point and I'll just rearrange my work to make sure that this will stretch evenly. And I want to make sure nothing's turned up underneath and that I'm stitching on the edge. Just check that the other seam is matching, that the seams are all on top of each other. And we'll reposition our work again towards the next centre notch point and continue. So here we are, we've finished. Thank you for joining me on this sew along and I look forward to you joining me for my next video.